manggilnya unik tuh kan ayam manggil ayam tapi keras datang semua tuh bayangnya datang tuh it turns out that bunda and uncle have a unique way of calling the crocodiles they use a distinctive quite loud sound that resembles calling chickens this sound successfully summons all the crocodiles even though it initially sounds like calling pet chickens. This is Payman Kuiper's habit here, and this unique sound serves as a marker for their feeding time. Crocodiles have incredibly sensitive hearing abilities in the wild. They can mark the location of their prey by relying on sound. That's why Payman Kuiper dips the chicken into the water, as a sign of where the food is. <laughs> when the chicken is thrown into the water, the crocodiles immediately rush towards it. The crocodiles' leaps are lightning fast, even in slow motion footage. They rely on their tails for various functions, such as self-defense, increasing their swimming speed and pursuing prey. Although the crocodiles have powerful teeth and jaws, once they close their mouths, they lack the strength to open them. Oh, boy. Buaya maskot sini besar sekali. Lima meter ya, Mas? Lebih. Lima meter lebih. Nah, tuh. Besar sekali itu tuh. Kan tuh. <laughs> Ngeri ya, Tan. <laughs> Kita juga harus waspada. Heyman Kuiper conducts an examination in a larger crocodile enclosure where there's a giant crocodile named Sea Boy. Sea Boy is of enormous size, measuring over 5 meters and is one of the older crocodiles. When dealing with a crocodile of this size, it is essential to be cautious. Next, Bunda and Payman Kuiper move one crocodile to a different enclosure. This is a hazardous task that requires specialized skills. After successfully completing the task, the crocodile is securely contained.
Then, we observe how the crocodiles eat voraciously. Buaya-buaya ini baru umur 2 tahun, tapi uh, lahap banget tuh, makanya tuh. <laughs>